Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. And today we're going to be trying some more heat from the hammer. Nice. There's three sauces left out of this multiple 10 pack, multiple 10 pack. This wonderful 10 pack of sauces. So we've done seven. If there's well, three left, we've done se or I've done seven. Yeah, I've only done a couple, I think, but that's fine. But I have no idea which ones they are. I won't even know until the last one because I'm not even looking at them. Yep. So yeah, I got three here. If you watched the last video, Michelle picked. And she wants me to pick this time, so. Well, right. yeah, I don't want to get blamed for a bad choice, so. That's well, even if favorite. I pick a bad one, I can still blame you. Probably. Yeah, it won't make any sense to. I always get blamed. But I'll just go for the middle one because it's the middle. Yoink. <laughs> it's middle of the road. So move this over here. Oh, and it's like a greenish. Ooh. This is the mild fire. All right. So I've had the wildfire. This is the mild fire. I'm going to give you this so you can look at the heat scale while I try to look up where it is. Mild fire is the lowest one they have. I know, but it's not on the book. Is it? Oh, it is. <laughs> mild fire. Okay. It does not have a blurb. Oh, wait. Yes, it does. Don't don't read the ingredients. Cause I'm not going to. We can, we can try and decipher what it is. But I will read the blurb. This unique sauce pairs... Oh, wait, do you... If I read the blurb, it might say what's in it. You want me to just skip the blurb? Yeah, just read it. If it says it, what it's in it. Whatever. This unique sauce pairs blank with <laughs> jalapenos, providing a mild heat for those who prefer less intensity. If it's not hot enough for you, then try the hotter wildfire. Well, if it's plenty of jalapenos and it's that low, I'm going to guess habanero. No, it's it's literally a fruit, but I'm not gonna tell you what oh, fruit. Okay. Because that way only I know what it is. So you you know the fruity answer. I know the fruity. I I know the Fruit Loops. And it's not a normal oh. one. That is an odd smell. Get a little bit of the jalapeno. I don't know why. Don't confirm it because I'll guess again when I taste it. But to me it smells like guava. I'm not confirming or denying. It, it, it's good. My sniffer must be. At least this one is not very seedy. <laughs> <laughs> It's 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 a well tri well done so uh, sauce. Yeah, so from and it's a little bit thicker than the last from one. The seedy side. <laughs> it's from the right side of the tracks. Yeah, I'm, I don't know why, but I'm getting it's making me think of guava. Or maybe not. I'm smelling like there's a vinegar smell to it, which is kind of throwing me I, off. I, well, I think all of the hot sauces. Yeah, try it's a but vinegar. Just, that's what's throwing me off right now. But cheers. No, it's not guava. Lime. I'm getting lime. I'm getting like, um, like I didn't look at the ingredients. I know which one they mentioned in the blurb, which is not lime yet. Um, but it also has like a, a cilantro, like um, a herby, a herbiness to it. Yeah, I, I can see where you're getting that, yeah. Like a, a cilantro or something, or a pesto type. Yeah. Yeah, I'm tasting lime. It's got that like that kind of citric. You are close. Do you want me okay. to tell Let you? Let me now? try one more here. All right, I can just try. It's not bad. Um, I think it would pair well with like chicken breast, like a baked chicken or something because it's it's it is mild. I'm still getting lime, so if it's not lime, maybe lemon. Did we read it for it? Yeah. Okay, so the ingredients: apple cider vinegar. Kiwi. I, that's why I said it's an unusual one. That's where you get the weird... Um, like, that's when, when you say guava. It's... See, I, I don't eat kiwi straight. So neither do I. probably why I, I couldn't pick it up. But I, I've heard before that it has a similar taste to guava. And I don't eat guava straight either. So... But so, I know the smell of guava. Yeah, kiwi, water, jalapeno pepper, bell pepper, garlic, salt. So the only one in it is kiwi. Hmm. That is interesting. It is. It's not it, bad. I, I, I like kiwi and like 
fruit drinks and stuff like that. And they don't have any cilantro <clears throat> in it, which is funny because it does taste to me very cilantro light. But I, I don't eat a lot of kiwi either. It could be the, like, the, the garlic amount that's in it. Yeah, it could be just the combination with the kiwi. Because it's not a very fruity sauce. No, but it's actually... It's not bad. Like, I would put that with nice baked chicken and a nice, like, uh, or potatoes. Like, marinated potatoes or something. So it's, it's still giving me lime. Like, it's just that, that tartness of a lime. Yeah. But like I said, I don't eat kiwis, so... Let me know in the comments if you like limes and kiwis. If yeah. There, if kiwi has that tartness. Or... And at least they'll know what it tastes like to us. To yeah. us, it has that a very lime esque. It's very limey. It's British. Mm. Not not sour, <laughs> but almost like the lime rind. Yeah. Where the, you get the, the taste of lime without a lot of the puckerness. Yeah, like maybe if they just yeah just, just and, hint of lime. It's yeah, because for me, lemon and limes, I don't find them sour or anything at all. I love them. I can all sit there and eat them if I can. Yeah. But oh, excuse me. But that's good. Yeah, that's good. But yeah, that's why you're getting that kind of. Mine taste. Be a nice marinade. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Marinade myself in mild fire. <laughs> yeah, you're like, okay, let me put on some mild fire. But it's like only a little fire. Just. I just had a bad image. What? And it wasn't that. Have you ever seen Bubble Boy? No. I've heard of Bubble Boy. <laughs> there, it, it, the whole thing is, it's a weird movie. It's a funny movie, but it's a weird movie. If you guys have seen it, you'll understand. There's a character that called, their nickname is Wildfire. Oh. But this would be the Sounds role crazy. before we find out that she's Wildfire. <laughs> She'd be Wildfire. <laughs> and just the scene of her being discovered as Wildfire. If you know, you know. In my head. Yeah. There you go. Pretty good. If you haven't watched it, if you want a good laugh, go for it. And I'm talking about the kind of the 2000 version, not the Dr. Travolta 70s version. Big difference. <laughs> the 70s one was actually documentation, or a documentary type, on the real bubble boy. But John Travolta from the 70s. I don't think he would ever poke it into his <laughs> finger like that. No, that's that's not... a whole different meaning there, Michelle. No. <laughs> anyway. This is getting less and less mild the more you talk. Just saying. Anyways, on that note, <laughs> that was the mild fire from Heat from the Hammer. We'll see you next time. Enjoy the heat, stay spicy. And... Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you gotta reset. They never did that. <laughs>